Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mumsy's Reactions. <laughs> These are getting fun. Today she's going to react to my arrival in Bengaluru and uh, dinner with Darshan and Ashu. Okay, let's do it. You ready? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Authentic India. Today I'm in Bengaluru and I'm here with Darshan and Ashu. Ashu, yes. And we're getting ready to go eat some dinner at a Corgi restaurant. So as you can tell, I've already received the reception. Let's do this. A few moments earlier. <laughs> you know, these are pictures you sent me? Yes. Yeah, this is in Darshan's high rise condo. Very nice. I think it was like the 27th floor. Wow. It's very beautiful views. Yeah, I guess. And you've seen this. Yeah, you showed me this. <laughs> yeah. My head was just a little too big. Just a little. Is a little too big. Yeah. That's okay. Still really enjoyed it, Carson. It's a neat thing. Such an incredible reception. <laughs> yeah. Such an incredible reception. This is a super neat restaurant too. Now we're uh, at a restaurant called Korg. Korg. Yes. The town up in the hills yeah. in Karnataka. Dinner yeah. that is a specific region that's close to Bengaluru, right? A very proud history and all the cultural heritage. Yeah. The the couple that started this yeah, restaurant. Yeah, it's just not. fantastic. When we started this place the idea was to tell people that coffee is not just she was so informative. Cappuccino. There are different types of we started this year, so we had actually named all of them. Over a period of time, kids have kind of pulled it out. Since time she and her husband <laughs> also have a homestay in Cork. <laughs> so oh. That would be Spicy. very that neat would be to, go, to there. go there. Yeah. We tried showing the culture of Cork. So we just tried to actually showcase Cork here. Look at that. Uh, I love all the old uh, yes, photos. Yes, actually, all the history. It's not just the Cork curry. We've kept it simple uh, to make it look like how food home would look. And uh, both of us just don't like steel or anything not like plastic. So you see everything is wood. So the idea was if we were to ever bring this down, it's completely biodegradable. So if they want to move the restaurant, they can just pack it up and move it. Awesome. Look at that. Wow. This is like some of the initial founders. Oh my god. To take the problems of coal back to the British. So coffee got planted in India because of the Britishers. So uh, when they came down to Coke and started the coffee plantations, Coke was a very remote area with no uh, roads, nothing. So they came in and once they started the plantations there, there was a lot of health issues, education issues. So this was the team that first went to the Britishers with their list of problems. Yeah. 
So, in fact, we have the Gazette also, which we haven't still kind of. Are heard. you related to any of them? Uh, see, it's very funny. Um, Coop is a very small community, and uh, each one of us is somehow or the other related. So, if you actually go down, my father or my grandfather would tell that one of these men would somehow be related to them, either a great grand uncle or a great grandfather. Um, but yes, there would be some connection somewhere. So, the, these are the main nine people created that small uh, like an association kind of thing. Neat. Very neat. Yeah. But Coops are very, you will find us related somehow. Yeah. <laughs> so, how successful were they with the British? They did. They were. Yeah, they were. That's good. So, uh, and Coop is one of the places which didn't get invaded by the people, though he tried to come and he tried to invade. So, it was one place which managed. Yeah, oh, that's nice. It's, it's identity by itself. And uh, we are one of the communities. Um, we are Hindus, but we are people. So we are, uh, we are, we are not ID worshippers, we are ancestor worshippers. Yeah, so ancestor we, there's worshippers. There's a lot of history to our uh, yeah. from where we came from. Uh, they say we have the history of the Syrian, uh, the Alexanders, and uh, we have some Greek influence. So if you look at our culture, it's very different compared to. The regular culture of India. So I think you so much for that. That's how folks are. We're very proud of our culture and very, uh, very different very from the proud. rest of the yeah. world. Oh, that's yeah. great. So we are Shaktiya, that's the warrior tribes. They are warrior tribes. So we either Her food's the incredible too. It was so good. Yeah. <sighs> That's Ayapa. Uh, he's oh, he's nice. the one who started this. So you ask me where this came from. He's, <laughs> he's the brain behind this uh, restaurant. Yeah. Mm, so maybe he can. Big move. Peeking out of the kitchen. <laughs> Very, very neat couple. Yeah. <laughs> So were you the only ones in there? Yeah, all kinds of things. Yes. This is just like the home. Like if I came to your home for me, you wouldn't have later. Yeah, some people came in a little bit later. I think we were there early. Oh. Uh, I'm pleasantly surprised that you've lost it. Why'd it get so dark? It's mood lighting. <laughs> yeah, but the camera usually focuses the texture yeah. better than this. He had a great handshake, too. He had a super handshake. Mm. Most of the handshakes are kind of soft. soft. He, he was just like normal. <laughs> like what were you to? No, even more so. Oh. And it's showing the Indian audience what restaurants are like in the US. And they also make requests for me to cook dishes. Because oh, they want to cook for us. Well, they never asked if I could cook. They just want to cook for us. Requested me to make dishes. It's got really dark. <laughs> I do it yeah. <laughs> if I do it well or not, that's. For oh, others to decide. Yeah. I enjoy eating the food, uh, but uh, but yeah. So I'm here meeting meeting viewers and going around and eating. It was just in the curious in the curious that has to happen. There's up, there's you know. good lighting for the buffet. Yeah. Good. Even though all the tops are on, yeah, well, you get still good, yeah. yeah. So amount of dishes, yeah. This is the chicken curry. So the chicken has been coconut gravy. This is a mutton rice curry. Remember the chicken? Yeah. So we basically have two curries. We use very little bit of red chili. Red chili is the most common chili. Yeah. So we very rarely use. We use very little bit of red chili. The maximum amount of uh, spices comes with the green chili, and we use something called the uh, uh, bird eye chili. The chili is really, really strong. Yeah. Powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we use a little bit of that in all the food. This, of course, is the pandi curry. Those are vegetarian dishes. So, this is kuru, that's 
mushroom plus jackfruit fried. Jackfruit was good. So we don't do a lot of uh, frying for our. Uh, Next time, on Keat, we'll get the jackfruit in Delhi. <laughs> he was going to drive all the way from Bhopal to meet me in Delhi. Oh. Have some jackfruit. Yeah, that kind of flop, didn't it? No refined oils. Nice. Everything is nice and natural and healthy. Mm -hmm. Have a tough time I with do. the flavor of ghee. I do. Yeah. It's much more healthy. For, for health purposes. Not, not for flavor. Not for flavor. See, unless you are from the south and you're used to the coconut oil. Even though we enjoy the flavor of it. It's very difficult to The coconut oil. You do. I don't taste it very much blended with stuff, so I'm okay with it. It's a win win for me. Yeah, you like it with the masala. Mm -hmm. Darshan's first time trying. Oh, and Ashu's. It's a sour sauce. It's really good. It's really good. It's a sour? No. It's different. I haven't tried this earlier, but it's good. It's refreshing. Yeah, it is. No doubt about it. Let's see. I'll try it this time if I'll find it or not. So I almost had to throw a penalty on the play. I thought Ashu went pinky out on his drink, but uh, after further review, he was good. <laughs> what? Pink. Really? <laughs> We had the same sense of humor. <laughs> so that the right was that rice or was it um, idli or it's the the hoppers. It's almost like a bird's nest oh, out of the, okay. the rice okay. noodle. Okay. Yeah. So good. That was one of the things I was really looking forward to eating over there too. Yeah. We got to try them a few times mm -hmm. in the trip. Oh, that is good. Yes, yes. So that's mushroom. That is mushroom. And that's jackfruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even... Um, it's it's like you're eating in her home. Yeah. The way she talks and the way she, yes. you know, answers questions and... It's really nice. Mushroom? That's neat. It's really nice, no? Wonderful taste. Yeah, what's nice what's really bad. cool yeah. about the it's restaurant is nice that the menu changes. I mean, yeah. you just go in there and, and there's something whatever yeah. whatever yeah. they, they feel like making. Right. The mushroom masala. It's all and the seasonal. Jackfruit. You know, whatever mm -hmm. whatever vegetables in season. Right, right. I didn't get the name of the bird's nest. String hopper. Oh, and there's the rice. Look at those. Yum. Yum. Woody's, I think, that's is what nice. the name of it is. That looks so good. So this is the Aki Oti. Aki Yeah, so most of them will say Roti. This is not Roti, this is Oti. So it's O double T I. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's new for this me. This is made out of cooked rice. Okay. okay. Okay, so it's cooked rice, kneaded with rice flour. That's it. You would have loved this. Uh, I, it looks like I would, uh, yes, like definitely. Or, you know, anything in 
roti means where you And it wasn't it too spicy done. either. I mean, it was a little Cheers. bit spicy, but not too spicy. The food at Korg was too. fantastic. You could just tell by the owners how much love and passion they had for it. And that's definitely reflected in the food. Their coconut curry chicken was my favorite dish of the evening. The gravy was simply wonderful. Looks good. <laughs> well, how was that for a welcome to Bangalore? Darshan really pulled out all the stops. That was that was wonderful. It's something I'll definitely never forget. Uh, yeah, what a super welcome! Yeah, he even brought Ashu down from New Delhi. So glad that he did. He was actually uh, planning on just meeting up with me when I arrived in my uh, New Delhi part of the trip. I'm so glad that he. He didn't and decided to come down to Bangalore because, as you all know, I pretty much hit the lockdown immediately upon arrival in New Delhi. So, so glad that I got to meet Ashu as well. But uh, yeah, we were a Very bit nice. tired. Um, so both of us were traveling. Ashu came down from Delhi. I came from Hyderabad, and and Darshan was was up early in the morning getting everything ready to uh, meet us over at the airport. So. Yeah, we, we didn't uh, didn't make it very long in the restaurant, but wow, how were those owners? They yeah, they could like have just stood there the and talked to us all night and given know, us the complete history of core. That was yeah, I mean that, that was, was pretty neat. special too. It felt yeah, like the, she was the food getting was ready to sit down and eat dinner with us. It did, it did, and that would have been neat. I mean, that's like you know what a hostess would do. Over the top, it was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job with the restaurant too. Just the decor, everything, yeah. all bamboo and yeah. natural. Natural. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what'd you guys think of the meal? Oh, it was delicious. Seriously, I really enjoyed it. I'll come again. Definitely. Nice, nice. What was the What was the best aspect of it? The The environment. Everything the, was good. The owners or the food. I mean, all, it, the staff is really good. Absolutely they wonderful. They treat us very well. They serve the really good food. Ambience is really good, really different. A ton of information about food. Ashu is yeah. very History comfortable in front of the camera, too. Yeah, he is. They'll tell you everything. Yes. I'm not. You should know. Darshan started off shy, but you'll see he really gets comfortable in front of the camera, too. All good. right. Over and out. We greatly appreciate it. Until next time. I was trying to talk them into starting their own channel because they're really good together. Yeah, but they don't live near each other. Well, that's, yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was a good introduction to your arrival there. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, yeah that was that neat. Was... Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that one. I left out the roses. When, when they met me at the airport, they oh. each gave me a, a rose. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get any video of right, that. <laughs> right, right. Oh, that's neat, though. Very yeah. neat, very neat. Such, such wonderful guys. Yeah, looks like it. I'm yeah. interested to see what's up next. Mm -hmm. oh, anything else? No, oh, that was really a good beginning of this yeah. leg that you were on. Yeah. I really like that one. Good, good. Yeah, I enjoyed it too, very, very much. Yeah. Like I said, that's something I won't forget. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, that was amazing. The the welcome, the welcome, the warmth. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. yeah. very much so. Yeah. Yep, very good. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching, everyone. We greatly appreciate it. We really do. Until next time. Bye. Bye.